The new Living Lands and Waters Mississippi River Institute is complete, and now you have the chance to see it up close a little bit later this week. Callie Chaser is here from Living Lands and Waters. Callie, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. So obviously, if you have you know grew up in the Quad Cities, spent any amount of time, we all know Living Lands and Waters. We all know Chad Pogracki. Uh, but for those of us not familiar, uh, tell us more about what you do. You do a lot for the community and really the nation as a whole. Yeah, so Chad started the organization in 1998 as a kid living on the Mississippi. Um, he was a clams diver, and he noticed all the trash all up and down the river underneath because he was diving as oh, yeah. well. And uh, since then, it's grown from one guy in one boat to now this whole operation of a fleet of barges. We have our new classroom barge um, that we'll talk a little bit about as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's got, it's grown into one guy, one boat, into this this amazing thing. And it's more than just river cleanups. We do our million tree program, which we just gave out mm -hmm. our two millions tree oh, yeah. this year and planted that, which was really exciting. And then uh, we do invasive species removal and prairie restoration to the areas around here and the partners with that. So that's really fun. Obviously, a, a very important nonprofit so that's here in the Quad Cities. And again, it goes uh, beyond just the Quad Cities and the Mississippi River. Yeah, yeah, we've been on 25 different rivers in 21 states, uh, worked with over 130,000 volunteers all along the Mississippi, the Ohio River, the Missouri River, the Illinois, basically the Mississippi and its tributaries yeah. um, because it covers so much ground. Yeah, so obviously, uh, you all are a nonprofit, so you're always looking for ways to raise money so you can provide the, the work that you do along these rivers and tributaries and the environment itself. So the barge party, it's barge uh, party. your biggest fundraiser <laughs> of the year, right? I mean, it is, you know, it is. your barge party is coming up a, a little bit later this week and then boom, you're on to the on next to year, the, right? Exactly. <laughs> so talk about the barge party. I mean, this is when it was down at Schwieber Park in Rock Island. I've been to a, a couple of these covering them and it truly is a party. It is. <laughs> it is. It's a fun time. Um, we have a shrimp oil yeah. live music. We have for those about to yacht that came here last year. And so they'll um, be there as well. But it's at Beacon Harbor, the yeah. new headquarters. We have the new Mississippi River Institute classroom right down there. So we'll be giving barge tours on it. We'll have a silent auction with local artists that have donated their pieces to then be um, distributed out there. And people can do a silent auction on that and decide which piece that uh, fits them and that they want to get. We've gotten some really cool art pieces over yeah. the years. So that's really something to look out for. Um, and then wine poles, really good food, yeah. drinks, cash bar, all that fun stuff. I mean, you mentioned <laughs> the art. I mean, we feature artists weekly here on Quad Cities Live. And we know that we've got a, a very a very talented pool of artists here in the Quad City, so you definitely want to check these out. And you can't just show up. I mean, this is a fundraiser, so yep. you have to purchase your tickets in advance. Yep, right? tickets are on sale right now. We've actually sold over 650 so far, which is really exciting. Oh, awesome. We had yeah. full of a thousand, so hey, hopefully these next four days, you can buy tickets at the door when we get there. Um, and so what we'll have is shuttles going back and forth from the John Deere Harvester factory um, to where Beacon Harbor is, and those shuttles will be going every 15 minutes. And okay. um, it starts from five to nine. Food's done around seven, I believe. And so okay. um, come and the art auction stops I think around 8 is when that will kind of close and, okay. and go from there but music will be going the whole time really good people get to see all the crew Chad will be there yeah um, it'll be awesome it'll be yeah, a good time. Chad, Chad is uh, definitely life of the party right <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and I mean as you saw in that opening shot that we had in the video I mean that literally hundreds of people so it, it truly is a good time and for a great cause as well so you know we, we're talking about how this is going to be bigger and better and more impactful than ever because it's all about the Mississippi River Institute uh, we've featured the story uh, several times on TV6 on our news cast and this is a very unique classroom and a unique learning opportunity for people uh, here in the quad cities and eventually beyond yeah so we've had some classes on there already in the spring that started yeah. um, and yeah. Chad's always said the 2300 corridor for wildlife is the Mississippi but now we're kind of framing this as there's 2300 miles of opportunity and careers that people just don't know about and bringing them to the river um, mm -hmm. and as our board president says get it get them over the levee and let them know of the opportunities so we have different speakers come on that are framed towards different well classes, um, environmental classes, things that are in engineer trades, those type of things that you just don't know are available and you can do it right out of high school um, and there's plenty of opportunities and you can yeah. be a deckhand right out of high school and work your way up to being in the wheelhouse as a captain in, in a few years and things. So uh, just letting students know and, and kids in the areas where they don't know that haven't gotten to the water sure, um, and yeah. get them out there and let them know it's available. I mean, what a unique opportunity. A classroom on the river, that's amazing. How, how many students can that hold? I mean, that's a pretty that, big space. Yeah, that can hold about 30, 40. Okay. Yep. All right, awesome. So what's the response been like from uh, students in the community? It's been fun. It's Has been it? fun. We actually, um, we had a welding group, I believe it 
I'm going to blank on the school because I'm not from here. Might have been, might, oh, might sure. been West. Okay. Um, but they West. created some of the railings that are actually on the barge. Oh, really? And so they, their welding class made some de really cool designed railings that were been putting around the barge. And so those will be on there. Um, the art pieces and different connections of the, of the Quad Cities will definitely be all over this. It's been restored. It used to be a dredging barge. Yeah. And then we actually moved um, the whole building off one barge that was sinking yeah. onto a barge that doesn't sink. Um, <laughs> that's <being> important. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's been really fun. And, and really cool the history of it the connection that they can make and yeah. and then you know you know maybe a, cl a class will have something else put on there sure. that will be on that forever which is that's cool. incredible and so because it's a barge it moves it obviously so uh, this is going to be on the move a little bit later this year this it is classroom. yeah yeah so uh, around July August time will make its way to st. Louis and Alton area and kind of be there for that the first initial um, big hard launch of it there and then it'll move to Minnesota and just kind of travel up and down the Mississippi and go to these different classes and bring the students in that local area um, to see what the opportunities are yeah, and get them on the water. Broadness <laughs> Horizons, that's for sure. Well, the barge party is happening this Thursday, June 13th from 5 to 9 p.m. at Beacon Harbor in East Moline. You can purchase your ticket online at livinglandsandwaters.org. There you will find all the events going on at Living Lands and Waters. Kelly, thank you so much for uh, spending some time with us and that uh, that barge is just incredible, uh, what, what you all are doing there yeah. along the Mississippi River. So Come check go, it out. Go check it out this <laughs> Thursday. Thank all you. right, thank you and thank you so much for watching Quad Cities Live, your local news at 4 with Sharon is coming up next. Have a great day.